Hello everyone, this is ASMRF. Today I am welcoming you to my new tutorial. Today I will edit a two step editing. That means at first I will edit in a Lightroom and then I will go to the Photoshop. Okay, some of the people just uh, wanted to know that how to edit my last uh, posted image at first I want to see you this image actually to make or how to edit like this this type of outdoor portrait that's why I'm making this tutorial okay let's go I'm in Lightroom and I imported all of my photos here and uh, here is the picture I took yesterday and I have a preset I'll give you the, this preset to you this preset actually okay and I applied this preset and then I'll go to the file then export and one thing is that uh, when I am exporting this one the post processing option the last option and here is option do nothing uh, most of the people just uh, given uh, do nothing but uh, I'll give the open in Photoshop CC 2017 and then export and then uh, it will uh, export and open up in the Photoshop okay let's see what is happening okay uh, it's open in a Photoshop yes PS and uh, in the face uh, it's uh, too much warm and uh, the blackish that's why I'll retouch the face only and other thing a uh, little bit and then I'll make a copy by pressing ctrl J or dragging and dropping and after that I'll go to the filter and camera raw filter okay and then I'll go to the HSL HSL option and then reduce the luminance of the yellow okay and hit the ok button okay then uh, I'll go to the filter and imaginetic potato filter and here is the advanced option here is the advanced option the sharpness softness warm tint and I'll just set this down and the 34 minus 707 you can uh, follow these settings or you can just uh, customize your own okay then hit the ok button okay it's loading mm, okay but uh, the background just gone uh, the color just gone that's why I'll make a mask and then control I for the reverse mask and then I'll take a brush and after that I'll just increase the brush size take the first one brush and the 200 pixel size and the hardness 0% and then just make it white when this one is black okay just brush over the face skin okay okay that's good okay let's see what was the previous okay nice and just group these two layers and make it merge after making it merge go to the filter and camera raw filter after going to camera raw filter just decrease the exposure a little bit and increase the contrast highlight decrease shadow a little bit increase white increase blacks decrease and then clarity five or six percent and variance and saturation plus five and make it more warmer like that plus two okay that's good and go to the effect option and the effect uh, give minus 9 that's good and good and I'll go to the camera calibration settings and give it uh, minus 12 and it's also minus 4 is good plus and minus 4 okay then hit the ok button that's good and just make it mask and just brush the face make it black when it's white brush the face okay 
before brush this one just decrease the opacity 34% and the 42% okay it will give you the better output okay the synchronizing actually that our image is ready okay then make another group and make it merge go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro okay it will take time to load let's wait in this color effects pro 4 i'm just using uh, the cross processing options okay it's loading here is uh, lots of filters pack and the cross processing here i'm using this one and here is lots of cross processing filter and uh, the variation of the filters and i will just apply one of them which one is good okay i think this one is good okay, hit the ok button it's taking time to load okay uh, you can reduce the opacity and it could be nice balance okay our image is ready and what was the previous one this one actually this one is our previous one and now the final one okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend till the next video i'm asmr signing out and bye bye